mark that off the list. Now let's get to the big item. The big, big item that I had on the list. Vote for Remix Mario Circuit 1. And the big item is Project 2025. A, uh, the, the name of a policy manifesto for the Republican Party that has become more and more well-known over the past couple of weeks. Um, and I believe that it is actually the death knell of the GOP, which is, which is a good thing, believe me, you know, whatever some folks might say who are more civility oriented that, oh, it's a sad day to see the GOP become like this. No, it isn't. They're a fascist party and I welcome their demise. Um, they have been a fascist party or at least, you know, leaning into fascism ever since the party switched since the 1970s and definitely the 80s. Uh, and I am quite frankly happy to see them go. Good fucking riddance. Hopefully this is the first step to something improving in American electoral politics, be it the introduction of a two-party system that does not involve a fascist party or the introduction of a multi-party system. This is the first step of that. But let's first let's first go through uh, Project 2025 and some of the policy uh, that it uh, calls for. And then I'll explain exactly why I think that Project 2025 is the death knell of the GOP, especially the uh, like publication and um, ubiquitization of Project 2025 as like the name of the GOP's policy game. So what does Project 2025 want to do? Uh, they the the. The Republicans want to, as as a part of Project 2025, the policies they lay out are uh, banning abortion, banning contraception and uh, birth control, uh, banning um, no fault divorce, uh, getting rid of no fault divorce, which means that uh, women would no longer be able to leave their uh, an abusive relationship, or or actually like anybody wouldn't be able to leave. An abusive relationship if they were uh, if they're married, um, gutting uh, multifamily housing, uh, making sure that only like single family zoning is is uh, is possible. That's one of the priorities of Project Twenty Twenty Five. Um, gutting the Department of Transportation and uh, gutting public transit as well. Uh, putting homeless people in concentration camps. Uh, putting queer people in concentration camps, banning porn, which is part of the uh, prior uh, bit, uh, because they plan to define all queerness and all like LGBT identity as pornographic, and then you know mass arrest people they define as pornographers, which is basically anybody who identifies as queer. Uh, abolish Medicare, abolish Medicaid, abolish Social Security, abolish the Department of Education bleed public schools to death in terms of money in favor of private and religious schools, defund free school lunch programs, um, revoke child rights so they basically become their parents' property. And I mean that specifically. They lambast the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child in Project 2025. That's a specific part of that, is that they, like, put child rights on blast. Uh, they want to abolish the separation of church and state. Uh, which would end religious freedom functionally. That is an infringement on the First Amendment. Thank you. Uh, they want to gut the EPA. Abolish the fucking weather service. Project 2025, I shit you not, calls for the abolition of the fucking weather service. Uh, the the uh, That is to say the NOAA, uh, which the weather service is a part of. Um, they want to gut environmental regulations. They want to scrap all environmental and emissions related uh, targets for, for policy making. They want to crack down on labor unions. Unions. They want to outlaw fucking stem cell research. Stem cell research would be fucking illegal if if uh, Project 2025 gets its way. So it would be like, you know, the, the primary mode of research for, for scientists that want to cure cancer would be outlawed if the Republicans get elected. Literally the pro-cancer party. Uh, thank you. You know, very cool. Um, they want to abolish the fucking Americans with Disabilities Act. That's right. They hate grandma for being in a wheelchair. Like, they, they want to get rid of the, the, like, all the braille signs and stuff that you see. They hate those. Um...
Oh no, I'm dead. They want to give the uh, the president the powers of a dictator even more so than was already uh, the case since the Supreme Court ruling. The Supreme Court makes the president above the law in terms of like anything they do as president. And uh, the the plan in Project 2025 is to say now basically let's make make it so that the the presidential like repertoire includes basically everything. There's a number of things that agencies do. Uh, and, and the plan in Project 2025 is let's make all of that stuff that the president can do, you know, instead of the agencies. Uh, they want to put in place even more tariffs, as, you know, particularly against China, big Republican, uh, talking point, which would fucking destroy the American economy because we, we, uh, rely a lot on, uh, Chinese manufactured goods. Ah, yes, and of course. Now, the usual Republican repertoire gets mentioned. Well, I mean, this is the usual Republican repertoire, but even more. Um, they want to cut uh, taxes for billionaires and uh, corporations and shareholders fucking again. They want to abolish fucking income taxes. Seriously, there's a, the, the, there's a big part of Project 2025 that's like, yeah, we should phase out income taxes entirely in favor of sales and consumption taxes, which disproportionately fall on poor people. Even Adam Smith, the godfather of capitalism as an ideology, opposed this. Like, even Adam Smith was like, yeah, we shouldn't do consumption taxes because they're regressive. And the Republicans are like, let's fucking do consumption taxes and abolish the income tax. Uh, but that's not all. Of course, there's more. They want to cut all funding from the UN. They want to cut all funding from USAID and other international aid projects, which would fucking destroy the international humanitarian landscape for how big of a part of it the United States is. They want to literally abandon sustainable agriculture, literally doubling down on factory farming. They want to eliminate all farming subsidies. Great way to starve a fucking country, by the way, is to make it so that farmers like have no institutional support. Um, they want to dismantle the entire administrative state, like, get rid of a bunch of agencies, especially every single department. They, in fact, name every department they want to get rid of has to do with civil rights of, uh, of minorities, queer people, etc. Um, and, uh, like, whatever's left of those departments, they want to fill with, like, hardcore fascist loyalists so that they can enforce their priorities. Which, by the way, this includes the CIA, FBI, and Department of State. If the fascists win, they're going to, like, fill the CIA and FBI with, like, hardcore fascists. Like, already, they're not, like, the, the CIA and FBI represent, like, problematic institutions, but at least right now, they're, they're full of, like, pencil-pushing nerds who mostly are just concerned with, like, filing the paperwork right and thus have like sort of passive institutionally motivated priorities this would basically be like the beginning of the mass crackdowns on all political dissent is is the uh the project 2025 plan for the fbi and a lot of uh government agencies um And then they uh, they also want to repeal birthright citizenship. Birthright citizenship basically is is the uh, the the part of the law that says if you were born in the United States, you're automatically a citizen of the U.S. Uh, regardless of whether or not you were like uh, born to American parents or not, which is like super fucking based, by the way. Like I can't imagine living in a country where it's like, yeah, I was born here and have lived here my whole life, but because, like, my parents are from somewhere else that, like, I'm not a citizen, and they decided, yeah, fuck you, actually. Uh, Republicans want to, uh, get rid of that, get rid of birthright citizenship to, uh, make way for their priorities regarding immigration, which are absolutely atrocious, uh... You know, don't you worry. They have they have plans for that there, too. They want to mass deport immigrants with uh, raids from the military and the National Guard, literally turning the military and the National Guard into the Gestapo to deport immigrants, which they will make easier and more massive through the re revocation of birthright citizenship. They want to cut federal funding, all federal funding, to anybody that has any ideological disagreements with fascists on anything. Seriously, it, there's a, there were like a few paragraphs in Project 2025 like, oh yeah, with with the loyalists in the federal government, we're gonna uh, we're gonna literally make funding for states and local uh, areas contingent on them complying with our political agenda. Like, what the fuck? Like, literally, if you're not a hardcore fascist, sorry, buddy, you don't get any government money.
and that's part of a institutional crackdown and and that that's just some of it all of the stuff that i listed that's a lot and i know it sounded like an info dump that's kind of because it was that's just some of project 2025 i couldn't fit like there's so much terrifying shit like terrible shit in project 2025 i couldn't fit it all on this list on that like list of uh points you know and and like some of it is really granular but like the whole thing the project 2025 pdf document is 900 pages long and it's public there's already a wikipedia article about project 2025 there's many many news articles being written about it it's becoming more well known by the day you're free to go look up some more particulars if you know if you want to uh and in fact i guess if, if anybody's a policy nerd i would encourage them to do so but like holy shit this is this is every worst tendency and every bad idea of the GOP compiled into one document and completely undisguised. This is why I say this is the death knell of the GOP. Here's that explanation I promised earlier. Project 2025 is the death knell of the GOP because for the longest time, the GOP was able to maintain popular support basically by hiding their uh, their uh, intentions behind, behind certain rhetorical disguises right? Certain talking points that made their policies sound considerably better than they actually are to try to like appeal to people on certain lines that would like mislead them into thinking like, oh, this would actually be good when in reality, they just want to make life worse for everybody, right? You know, this, this is, is them effectively dropping that mask. They no longer have the appealing bits with which to pull people in that, you know, they don't have the bits that sound good. They just have the bits that sound massively authoritarian and want to revoke everybody's rights, which despite the fact that there's a vocal Christian nationalist minority, uh, that doesn't appeal to a lot of people. Even a lot of Republicans aren't terribly fond of a lot of the blatantly authoritarian rhetoric coming out of uh project 2025 so much so that even donald trump recognizes the rhetorical damage that it poses to his campaign and has had to distance himself from it even though he is part of the like he was part of the team that like wanted to put project 2025 together like that's partly his brainchild and he's had to distance himself from it because of how fucking bad it looks And now, because all this stuff is out in the open, because the Republican Party literally cannot disguise their intentions anymore uh, for, for like what they want to do to America, they're going to lose popular support en masse. Like, th th it's going to be fucking jover for the Republican Party. We saw shades of this at the RNC, too, where they started to drop the mask a bit where they started dipping more into the overtly Nazi talking points, where they were they were consolidated to such a point that they weren't con concerned with appealing to people on the outside. They just wanted to sort of reify the fervor on the inside to try to seize power with what they had. But this is like, they're shooting themselves in the foot even harder with Project 2025 than they were with the RNC, like legit. Like imagine being so evil that you want to put queer people in concentration camps, homeless people in concentration camps, you want to deport every single illegal immigrant in the country, and you want to get rid of the fucking weather service. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What do you know about uh, Pierre Omidia uh, and his involvement with Project 2025? Uh, nothing much, but if he's involved with uh, Project 2025, uh, it's safe to assume that he's a Nazi, so... Uh, that's the inference I can make from there. Why? Why do you ask? Pierre Omidyar is a financial backer of the Intercept. That checks out. Look, a lot of a lot of the brain, the people who like put their brain power and funding into Project Twenty Twenty Five are uh, are not just like regular Joes. Like these aren't just Republican policy like nerds. These are fucking. These are donors. These are part of the like uh, capital owning class. This is the the end state of the the capital class retreating into Nazism. You know, you think about people like Peter Thiel, and yeah, a lot of these people they're not just you know contributors to like Fox News and the hardcore stuff. These guys contribute to nominally left wing news outlets. That guy for the Intercept. There's quite a few uh, CNN contributors that have their name on uh, 
Project 2025? Yeah, connected to the CIA, no doubt. I mentioned that like Project 2025 would make the CIA even worse and even more hostile to, to uh, left-wing movements and minority movements abroad. Like, it's just bad all around, you know? To say nothing of the absolute horror they would they would incite here with uh, with Project 2025. I mean, sh for shit's sake, when the mask has dropped so far that you're talking about repealing the fucking Americans with Disabilities Act, the thing that's like, yeah, let's make it so that blind people don't literally get run over by cars. Let's do away with that so that blind people do, in fact, get run over by cars and so we can, uh, you know, purge them from society. That's the only ascribable motive to Project 2025 is just you know purge all the degenerates and uh and, and and such from from society like that that's it but again like i said this is every bad idea and worst fascistic tendency of the gop completely laid bare for everybody to see and however fucking stupid the american public may be sometimes i think we can all agree on that they don't like that a lot many people you know when they're staring fascism straight in the face they don't like it and uh i think that's going to that's going to sound the death knell of the gop i think this is like assuming that this gets properly picked up by the news media which it already has to an extent the republican party isn't it going to be able to pick up any like proper popular support again i think they're they're on their way out as a party because people will see people are seeing project 2025 and realizing wait they just fucking hate us you know which has always been the case but now they, they can't even front it with anything Uh, so yeah, we can't let the Republicans win. As much as you might loathe the Democrats, as much as I loathe the Democrats, you cannot, under any circumstances, let the Republicans win, because otherwise they're going to start doing Project 2025, and this country's fucking done so. Uh, and future me in editing, that seems like a good ending point, so cut the segment there.